I'm going to make you a history, a true Jamaican story. A Jamaican story which stand out for life. I remember in Gilbert. In Gilbert, my mom and my dad did make this for me. Corned beef and also cabbage with some seasoning. Well, in England now I'm making a little twist to it because I'm gonna put a little sweet corn also inside of it. So that's, that's a little bit different. Well, normally you fry to put a lot of seasoning. Well, it's a true story. As we remember, a lot of Jamaican do like it. Corned beef and cabbage. It goes with rice, you can have it with dumpling, banana and breadfruit also. It's really nice. Hopefully you guys enjoy the recipe. And if you remember in Gilbert, you can go on the internet, type up Gilbert, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, today I'm going to give you a true story from Jamaica. Corned beef and cabbage today. Nice recipe. Enjoy the recipe. Visit my website at chefrecorder.co.uk and leave your comments if you want me to prepare something for you. Write it in the description box and also put your comments. Thank you very much. And this is the ingredients. How to make the Jamaican story. Yes, this is all about true Jamaican story. Corned beef for cabbage. Right over here, I have a little bit of cabbage. I'm just using a quarter of a cabbage. I did wash it off, cut it up a little bit small. Right here, just a little bit two pieces a cup of garlic I cut up a little fresh thyme and also I have some tomato which I did cut spring onion white onion mixed pepper I got the red yellow and green pepper and I have a lovely Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper also I have a little bit of sweet corn which we're gonna also use in it a little bit of olive oil and now the pot is on the stove it started getting hot so guys this is a true Jamaican story corned beef and also I'm cooking a little bit of rice in the meantime so enjoy the recipe so right here is my medium sized frying pan what I'm gonna simply do a little bit of two roughly three tablespoons of olive oil also inside of the frying pan and next what we're gonna simply do now we're gonna put in all of those seasoning which we just thought a while ago so right here as you can see take my little time because my pot is starting to get in hot already and I'm putting all of my seasoning, pepper, everything. And also I'm gonna put in that beautiful cabbage right here. Inside of it with the garlic and all of those fresh seasoning. Put a little bit of heat. And give it a little stir. Lovely as you can see. Really nice color. And I want to say I cut up my veg a little bit small, not too big. As you can see, looking really good so far. And what I'm going to simply do, I'm going to put a little bit of coarse pepper inside of it. I'm going to put in that lovely sweet corn. I did mash down my corned beef a little earlier. I'm using 250 grams for the corned beef. Take a little time and mix it in just like this. Looking lovely as you can see. What I'm gonna simply do, I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika inside of it. Put a little bit of ketchup inside of it just to get in some flavor inside of it. Then give it a mix, then a cover it. As you can see, looking lovely so far. As you can see, looking really, really good. Let's put a little bit more ketchup inside of it. I'll tell you something, this is a Jamaican chew story. If you're a Jamaican, you will know what I'm talking about. Because I remember in Gilbert when my mom did make this for me really nice with the rice cooking down looking lovely really good look at that beautiful color simple cover it just like this and a medium size eat and make it simmer for roughly one and a half you can minutes. see the smell of this canned beef and cabbage to keep reminding me of gilbert
really nice beautiful I'm gonna share it out now because this is finished I didn't even put any salt because the corned beef have a lot of salt inside of it not only you can have this with rice and dumpling and breadfruit and banana also you can make a nice sandwich with it and bring it to work and share it with your friend and your colleagues let's see where you get that recipe from tell them that you get it from Chef Ricardo cooking YouTube channel and remember visit my website chefricardo.co.uk so right here this is finished and I'm gonna turn off my stove and I'm gonna plate it up now and make you guys see really nice true story of Jamaica and Gil in Gilbert corned beef and rice so as you can see what I'm talking about right here corned beef for the cabbage got some plain rice and some veg at the side you hold a different thing I did I just added a sweet content and I tell you something it's really nice and this is the Jamaican true story in Gilbert was corned beef and rice and most people have like chicken back tin mackerel and rice curry chicken back brown stew chicken back I remember in Gilbert when my mom did look after this for me so it's a nice idea of this recipe and I'm putting on my YouTube channel for remember some of us where we are coming from in Jamaica and I tell you it's a really nice nice recipe hopefully you guys enjoy the recipe subscribe my YouTube channel put your comments below and if you see something where you like me to prepare for you always write it in the description box nice veg at the side and as you can see looking lovely really colorful and the rice looks really nice and it is just plain rice really nice so hopefully you guys like the recipe and really we have nice. a lot more and just remind us where we're coming from as i said before Corn beef and cabbage is Jamaican dish also really nice and I want to say something to you guys all you need is a nice cup of lemonade to go with this meal you can have it for your for your dinner you can have it for your lunch or you can share it to your friend at work to tell them that it's a nice recipe if you come home this is something very quick where you can do you can also prep it from the day before and when you come in the evening the next day you just look after it so it's a nice recipe and as I said, please visit my website, chefricardo.co.uk and remember, we have a lot more recipe for you. Leave your comments and give me a like. Thank you very much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Bye. True story of Jamaican dish in Gilbert. Thank you very much.